This looks and sounds like an ordinary light aircraft, but it's not. It's fitted with special hand controls for disabled pilots. All you need is an adaptation to operate the brakes by hand and the rudders by hand. All you do is operate the rudders with your right hand, holding it thus. It's actually up for right, down for left. Um, and you use it primarily when you're taxiing and during the takeoff and landing and for making turns when you're airborne. Until recently, there were no handicapped aircraft pilots in Switzerland. This is all changing thanks to the efforts of a 17-year-old schoolgirl. Sarah Ramsay was inspired by a book written by her godmother, Doreen Bornetun, a campaigner for disabled flying rights in France. Yeah, my father and I uh, searched a little bit, made, made researches, and well, we found out that in Switzerland, it wasn't possible for disabled people to learn to fly an aircraft and for the gliders it was only possible here on Gurias airfield. Sarah then started the campaign to provide a specially fitted plane and a trainer for disabled pilots here in Gruyere. She also helps organize an annual get-together of handicapped pilots from across Europe to help publicize the airport's facilities. Tim Ellison, a former Harrier jump jet pilot for the British Royal Air Force, is one of the participants. I was hovering a Harrier one day, which I'd done probably thousands of times before, and unluckily the engine suffered a major failure in the hover at about an altitude of 40 metres, and there was no time to eject, so the plane came down vertically with me in it. After his accident, Tim was determined to carry on flying. Unable to get a flying license in Britain, he completed his commercial license in the United States, where he also got a job as a pilot. Flying is very important to me. There are times in an aeroplane where it's easy to forget that I'm even disabled. And I've always loved flying. It's very enjoyable. And I particularly enjoy taking flying to disabled people who've never flown before and seeing the look on their face. When they realise they can achieve and do something which a lot of able-bodied people can't. What I'd like to see is what, what we've achieved in England to be achieved in every country of the world. I'd like to think that um, it was regarded as normal for guys like me to fly an aeroplane. The honorary president of the rally was Brian Jones. He and Swiss adventurer Bertrand Picard piloted the first non-stop circumnavigation of the world in the Breitling Orbiter 3 hot air balloon. He says that even though the facilities are available for disabled pilots, costs are still prohibitive. It now needs uh, support and sponsorship because, of course, it's quite expensive to learn to fly an aeroplane. And there are, invariably, because of their disability, they, they're very often financially uh, um, disadvantaged. Gruyere Aerodrome already has the backing of Swiss watchmakers Breitling, but there's still a long way to go before it'll be commonplace to see disabled pilots winging their way over the Swiss Alps.